everyone happy saturday hope you're having an amazing day it's april 20 2024 and right now it is 5 32 pm new york time outside temperature is 66 fahrenheit which is 19 degrees celsius and i'm here right outside of the met museum basically fifth avenue and east 82nd street start my video so it's a gorgeous day here in new york city right before this live i made a video from center park another cherry blossom walk you're gonna like that video for sure i will post that video hopefully tomorrow around like 11 a.m eastern standard time hope to see you all then but right now i don't have any specific plan we're gonna explore here upper east side for a little bit and then i will make my way towards uh, south towards Mitter manhattan so yeah as always just hit that like button and let's get started such a gorgeous day here maybe i can walk on park avenue for a while you will see all those uh, cherry trees that are in bloom on park avenue right now yeah i'm gonna do that but before that hold on a second i need to tie my shoelace so we'll be back in a few seconds All right, we are done. Outside of the Met Museum, look at that, everyone sitting at the stairs. This is one of the uh, iconic location for all the Gossip Girl fan. That's why this staircase right here outside of the Met Museum is very popular. A lot of people love to sit and take photos on this staircase and in general Met Museum is one of the most amazing museum here in New York City. Let me show you all the vibes right here with a wide angle. It's very busy right now. Oh wow, a lot of tulips are right here. But since we're walking towards uh, the Park Avenue, we're gonna see a lot of cherry trees and tulips. Oh. 
Central Park was packed today because it's Saturday and then the weather is super nice. Look at all those uh, gorgeous townhouses here. This is the reason I love this area. A lot of townhouses here. It's a single family townhouse for sale, right? This one. So, all the info you need, you will find it here. Excuse me. This is Madison Avenue in East 82nd Street. Yeah, townhouses here, really beautiful and super expensive. But if you go to Harlem, you're gonna see even more brownstone townhouses. That's even prettier. We're gonna do that too soon as well. Hey, Sal, Ron TV Metro, Diana, Nancy, Adrian, Cap Master, Lado Video, Marjorie, Evan, Denise, hey, who else? Hey, Parvin, Reza, V. Pizza Lover. Good to see Lavender for Sebastian. Thanks for joining, guys. Feel free to ask me if you had any question, concern. Happy to answer. I'm heading towards the Park Avenue now because uh, starting from 96th Street, I think till 72nd. Uh, you're gonna see all those Quentin cherry trees uh, are now in peak bloom. See more townhouses are here. Upper East Side uh, considered one of the most luxurious neighborhood here in Manhattan. Another townhouse for sale. I feel like this one is multi-family. But the other one we just saw for sale was single family. So next is Park Avenue. Are you ready to see all those gorgeous cherry trees right now? Then hit that like button before I reveal it. Hey, Emil, Andrew, hello. Hello, Juliana, welcome. They got some art installation made with tire. I think you used tire, look at it. All right, see? All those gorgeous, gorgeous trees. So all over New York City, these are the cherry trees that are now in bloom. Uh, so yeah, take the advantage. If you are planning to be here in New York City, be here soon. Otherwise, it will gone very quickly. Hey, Ila. So keep eye on the left side of the road while I'm heading towards south via Park Avenue because most of the trees will be on our left. I'm gonna also like when cross the street I'm gonna stop and show you like more closer view. Yeah, for now, it is a warm day. But later night, the temperature will be like 50 something.
and all those petals are already everywhere in the streets but after the tree will reach its big bloom all the petals will be like covered park avenue and as i said again i will mention it that all those tulips and the beautification done by park avenue foundation it's not done by new york city it's done by the park avenue foundation they are responsible and they are doing all those gorgeous decoration different season you will see different flowers for now it's time to tulips and cherry trees are like they're coming back every year so you just had to plant it once a year on my previous live stream i showed you like at least 20,000 tulips from lower manhattan from pump house park so if you haven't watched that video just so you know i had a video uploaded on my channel where you can see over 20,000 tulips in a small park in battery park city so yeah it's worth it for sure oh my gosh look at it all those paddles flying over everywhere hey there Dave Willida long time no see but good to see you good to see you DC wide one thing I think you guys already like observe here in this area that a lot of apartments and townhouse you will find few mention that even did back to glided age but mostly apartments and these are some of the luxurious apartment and rent is skyrocketing all over the city and here particularly is even more expensive but some people got rent stable thing uh, but it doesn't mean that everyone had that same opportunity or advantage hey bonnie bonbon good to see you here bonnie bonbon car good to see you oh wow see the petals are flying away so the bloom will not last for a long time it's pretty gorgeous this is park avenue and 79th street hey feltes welcome Let me cross the street and show you all those tulips. In this direction, this is MetLife. But look at them. It looks like a sunflower, but these are some hybrid tulips. Start from 96th Street all the way to the 42nd. oops we got only two second missed it but no worries it's gonna be a pretty cool view from here hey the voice of seagull welcome welcome verita but that's a very nice view it's gonna be my thumbnail for sure even if you zoom you can see the cars are coming i love park avenue It's the best. It's the best. I wish we could walk right here underneath of this tree, but unfortunately we can't. 
we can't do it. There is no uh, sidewalk that you can walk. <coughs> There was a Taylor Swift pop-up at Times Square today. I saw in their Instagram page. There you go, our friend's son, picking through these building gaps. And most of these apartments have doorman. I mean, this building have doorman. Doorman jobs are union jobs. And especially this area, it's kind of a high paying job. Elma saying, is this Upper East Side? Yeah, it is. I'm on Park Avenue and 77th Street, heading south. We can't even, I'm way too far from Strawberry Field and I had no plan to walk on Central Park right now. I can see New York City slowly becoming all green, like young leaves are now popping up. So hopefully soon we'll have all those greenery back. More tulips right there, every blog. And as I said, you can get those tulips bulb after they're done blooming. There will be an announcement. You can check out their page on Instagram or in Google to search Park Avenue Foundation. And they will release a permission note that you need to print. And then you just have to grab your shovel. I mean, you just have to grab a shovel and a bag and take as many tulips bulb as you want. Not now, when they will make those announcements and provide that permission slip. So police will not arrest you. Then you can show them, look, here I got the permission to get those tulips because these tulips are super healthy. If you wanna buy these tulip bulbs, it will cost a lot of money. And a lot of people does that. Uh, there are so many grocery shops but on uh, Madison Avenue, Lexington Avenue, but not too many on Park Avenue. New York City has so many like local grocery stores where people can do their groceries, to be honest. That's one of the reasons New York City don't have Walmart, because Walmart going to destroy um, the small businesses, but we do have Costco, BGS, other wholesale market, but not Walmart. And the reason to give advantage to all those small businesses. Barita saying thank you for showing the beauty of New York City. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. Thanks for your support. Thank you so much, Barita. I appreciate that and have a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, married. Thanks, Feldis. This is purely 
a residential portion of Park Avenue. Hey there, Robes and Revolves. Thank you so much, Robes and Revolves. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Robes and Revolves. Have a great day. Thank you. The great way to support this channel providing a like so if you haven't get a chance to give a like hit that like button and my recommendation subscribe this channel as well because I usually go live pretty much every day and if you want to see more update live stream from New York City then subscription is a must thing you should do it and it's free that's the good thing Hey, more townhouse, beautiful townhouse. Yeah, here in New York City, it's also a very beautiful day. Even though we start with rain, we have some we had some rain shower in the morning. Right after 10, 10 a.m., everything started getting so lovely and warm. And you can see 432 Park Avenue is now getting visible. And you can see the new JP Morgan and Chase headquarters still under construction. So here we are, East 72nd Street. I think now I'm gonna walk towards Lexington Avenue so you could see more shops and stuff like that but I hope you get it like until 42nd Street you're gonna see so many of these cherry trees and tulips on Park Avenue but now most of the small shops, designer shops, small designer shops, restaurant, you're gonna find it on Lexington Avenue. Well, that's a kind of you, Bonnie Bonbon. I'm glad you enjoy my channel. Uh, it's not quiet. The particular area I am right now, it's like a it was a pure residential area so most of the people you've seen right here are locals but it's very crowded if you go to central park or all those touristy location This is Peter Ilya Blue Designer Shop. Joanne the Juice right at that corner. one or two bus to East Village. If I took this bus, then I will end it up at East Village. And one or three bus, the last stop is City Hall. But I'm not gonna take bus. It's fun to walk. Oh, look at this dog. Oh, he's for sure enjoying the lovely evening stroll. My goodness.
Here is a deli right here. You can get your breakfast. Yeah, Hunter College is next. Dale. I can already see it. Here is a cafe right here. Lovely neighborhood cafe. How, how, did, how did, does it matter, Dave? You can still pick up the phone. You can't pick up the phone. Oh, here another restaurant. A lot of restaurants now have a portable outdoor sitting space. It's green, but why this car is not even moving? Hey, what's up? I mean, I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna cross the street. Nila Singh coming to New York City next year. Awesome. This construction right here is forever. Oh, wow. It's so rare to see this kind of motorbike now. And it's from Honda. Yeah, that's Skywalk from Hunter College. Yeah, exactly, Dale. Hunter College is a good CUNY public, public school. CUNY, for those who doesn't know, CUNY stand for City College of New York. I mean, City University of New York. I'm also a CUNY, almost graduate. <laughs> the reason I say almost, because I'm gonna graduate this year. Here, under college. The, look at this nasty water. Sixty eighth Street, Hunter College subway station for six train. See, this is Hunter College East. I can even hear the subway announcement from here. It's coming from the vent. This is a Starbucks right here. Hey there, pile. Can anyone spot a Chrysler building yet? Just straight ahead. Thanks, Dale. Thanks, everyone. Awesome, Dave.
today also people are celebrating uh, marijuana days it's called 420 especially if you go to Washington Square Park it's basically packed and all those smoke shops are very busy very very busy I'll just shortly like give you guys a history of this day so basically um, 420 this thing is first celebrated in 1970s basically a group of California high school student who called themselves Walders uh, decided to meet and hunt for cannabis they, they got a news that there are some stash of cannabis abandoned somewhere so basically the met outside of the Louis Pasteur ground on San Rafael High School around like 4:20, 4:20 p.m. And since then they are celebrating this 4:20. That's like a brief history. So basically, every year around like April 20, around the country and around the world. They all gather together on 420 to smoke pot. <laughs> uh, this is like the history of 420. So if you heard somewhere, happy 420 or something like that, this is what it means. Because a lot of people may not have heard this 420 thing ever so I don't want you guys to remain lost okay I don't want to walk under this scaffolding always hated hey stylish bunny hello file saying best observation day a uh, couple of them my personal favorite is Empire State Building Top of the rock and summit one vendor build. See all those lovely outdoor sitting area here. Sorry for some small buffer. Uh, Bile saying, Sifat, is it both going 102nd floor at Empire State Building? It's up to you because 102nd floor, it's a small space. Um, the main observation deck is basically 86th floor. So. If you want to get that experience, then you can definitely go by it all like surrounded with glass. If not like 86th uh, floor where everything is open. So I would say that unless uh, you want to do that, you don't need to. 86 is more than enough. And you can use my get your guide link or there is a specific link for Empire State Building ticket. You guys will might have some great discount on that. So I got so many affiliate links uh, in the description box. So basically you can check it out. Often they have a lot of promotion if you use my link and codes. So it's always a good idea to check. I got even a discount code for you in seated apps so seated apps basically are apps that you can use here in new york city to dine in or like walk in after you eat in a specific restaurant you can upload your receipt and you will get rewards and you can redeem those rewards in amazon and so many so many places or you can even use those to dine in again in some other restaurant and if you sign up through my link to the seated apps, you will get 
$20 for free. After your first like dining. So it's always a good idea to check all those uh, uh, affiliate link that I have. The reason I have those so that we both will be beneficial like you guys will get a lot of discount and it will help me to grow this channel as well and provide more interesting and knowledgeable content so if you are planning to visit new york city you can check out my affiliate link i got all those affiliate link from expedia get your guide and so on All right, folks, here we are, East 61st Street. We are like literally few blocks away from Midtown Manhattan. Look at this. Would you live here, 432 Park Avenue? This mega tall building right here. The penthouse cost over 100 millions. No problem, pile. If you had any question, concern, you can email me or you can send me a text on my Instagram. I'm pretty active. The NYC Walking Show. I'm happy to answer because a lot of you guys may have some question, concern that you may not feel comfortable to ask here in the chat. You can either email me or send me a text on my Instagram. Hey, Davey, hello. Exactly, Dinesh. This is how things like became popular. But that was in 1970s. Dev Willida, I wish, I wish we could get in that price, but it would be slightly expensive than that. <laughs> Nila, I already like visited so many times in Summit One Vanderbilt. I got invited like a week ago there. That's why I said you should follow me on my Instagram. I. I post a reel from there so basically they invite me to make an Instagram reel from Summit 1 Vanderbilt and I did uh, so yeah I was there a couple of times already and even last week this is two New York thing right here this team host Sometimes it makes me scared. Hopefully it will not blast. And they are super hot. So avoid these teams. Like don't walk on top of these teams. It's super hot. Yeah, right here, Bloomingdale's. And the best view. Hey there, Cynthia. The sky is so beautiful. It got so many moving clouds and moving clouds are best for uh, time lapse. Like people who love time lapse, moving clouds must think for them. 
Well, let's walk towards the plaza. Uh, v, that's basically all the way to provide heat to the nearest buildings. So that's basically backdated, like New York City has a tunnel system underneath, underground, and they had to like take out all those steams. This kind of a backdated thing. Now a lot of modern buildings have those on the rooftop, so you might not even see those. But that's kind of the old, old way to provide heat to the nearest buildings. And most probably you're going to only see them here in New York City in a vast majority of them. And that's why it's kind of only New York thing. There is even a hashtag only in New York City. See, I'm again back at Park Avenue, but this time it's 59th Street, kind of the border of Midtown Manhattan. And still tulips and quangen cherry trees. But most of them are mainly from 96 to 72nd and this iconic view. Oh, I stuck in the middle, but it's good. I could show you these tulips. Yeah, it's and G tomorrow. The weather will be slightly cloudy as well. But there are warm weather coming up. Next Saturday, Sunday, it would be 78. See the reflection of 432 Park Avenue? Kinda interesting. So many yellow cab. Dave Willida saying we have been pre-looked at Airbnb for June 2027. Going to stay in Queens for three weeks. Still it looks good. Great shot of the sky. Thank you. Oh wow, 2027. You are like year years ahead. That's a good thing to do your own research. Yeah, Queens would be a good thing. Especially Long Island City or anywhere in Queens if you get a like good Airbnb even the Airbnb things are a bit complicated here in New York City but yeah no pizza lover I haven't I cannot recall what building it is maybe I have or I haven't uh, but I cannot recall the address Kind of thirsty I gotta stop somewhere to drink some water table it uh, I hope so
does this building remind you something? It should be. Hey, Guadalupe, good to see you. How are you doing? It's so good to see all those people, like regular people, and a lot of old people as well, like my old viewers. So many good friends here in the chat. And a lot of them I met in person, such as Deb Willida, Guadalupe. Hey, Princess Purple, hello. Okay, I think I could sit in this plaza for a bit, like a minute or so to drink some water. So thirsty. Been out since three. better I sit here so enjoy the view for a minute we'll be back Let's get going. Uh, yeah, I drove someone like set fire outside of City Hall. Uh, the last news I have about that incident, uh, he is in a hospital in a critical condition. I don't have any recent update, but yeah. I had the video but I'm not allowed to share on YouTube because then YouTube will like gave me some top, top types of trouble but it's so painful to see that video. Nancy saying he passed, oh I'm so sorry to hear that, that's so sad. That video is like looks like uh, some types of action movie but it's not it's a real thing uh, yeah stylish bunny I got the video from reddit <laughs> reddit got everything and I saved it on my phone but as I said I am not allowed to share that video because it's it's too censored it's my like make a uh, effect into some viewers mind so yeah hey Alison Wonderland good to see you okay Yeah, let's not talk about those uh, video. Let's just focus on things happening right now and try to be happy. Oh my gosh. Try to be positive. Hey there, Taylor. Now you see people, right? You guys who are missing people.
Yeah, Nancy, as I say, that video is too graphic. Not suitable for a lot of viewers. Oh wow, that's awesome, Bonnie Bonbon. Bon. Let me see if there is the fake Trump impersonator here in this area. It is. Louis Vuitton is very expensive in the... Other side is better. We got three seconds. All right. Yeah, this much better. Look at this. Why oh, I see him. There he is. Right there. He even a subscriber of my, subscribers of my channel. He's a good guy. The Trump impersonator. You can see the uh, Trump mask. Hey there, Richard. Good to see you. Jake Elvin saying thank you, Sifat, for another walk in New York City. Thank you, Jake. Thanks for joining. Appreciate that. Thank you so much, Jack. Thanks for watching the video and have a great evening. Thank you. Uh, gotta make a detour from here. I should stick on that side. That side is much better. Let me check Paley, uh, Paley Park, 43rd and 5th, if it's open. I love that park. They had a nice soothing waterfall. It's a wrap. Okay, guys, let's make 500 likes done. No. 
Okay. Uh, Mario, I would love to do some video like this around the globe, around the world. And yeah, maybe in the future, for sure, why not? It's two hours. Since I had to cross, so let's cross here. So next is uh, 53rd Street. I'm gonna walk towards uh, the Medicine Avenue. And there will be a park. Holy Lord, look at this Kirin right here. Oh my gosh, this, this is unbelievable. The whole street is closed right now. Even the subway station, you had to like enter from Medicine Avenue. Uh oh. See, this is the park, the Paley Park. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're, they're winded with all those scaffolding and things like that. It's not open yet, guys. Princess Purple saying happy 420. Thank you for all that you do, Sifat. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Appreciate that. Thank you so much, Princess Purple. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much. So back at Madison Avenue. The whole block between Medicine and Fifth cloaks. Well, I love her dress. Hey there, Alex. Seems like a few pieces from that Korean that we just saw earlier. They stored right here. I'll get back to Fifth Avenue after Lotte New York Palace. Here, this building at the Lotte New York Palace.
protect your hearing, protect your health. I'm on the back side of St. Patrick Cathedral, right here. Hey there, Rat Shank. Good evening. Good to see you, Rat Shank. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining, Rat Shank. Good to see you. Hey there, Jeff. Oh, wow. They remove all the scaffolding and look at that. It's shining as brand new. Remember this palace right here? It's called Lotte New York Palace. And right here, they got the most amazing Christmas tree. Look at them. This palace had gone through so many renovation over the years but now it looks fresh and brand new it's a hotel actually you can stay here JJ from Scotland. Welcome. Christine, good to see you. Oh wow, look at that. Rockefeller Center. This is the observation deck called Top of the Rock or Top of the Rockefeller Center. One of the best. What's going on? A lot of music. Maybe from pedicabs? Maybe.
Uh, shortly I changed the plan uh, there was some change of plan so I couldn't uh, join to that tea leaf festival but we'll see I'll try I don't think so. Everything should be more energetic in honor of 420. But as I said, if you want to see activities like uh, fun part, we had to go to like Washington Square Park. Washington Square Park always celebrate 4 420 like crazy. I don't have enough time today, otherwise. I'll definitely take a tour on Washington Square Park today. I'm positive now that park is packed and everyone is smoking pot. If not everyone, 90% of the people at that park. If there is any bus available, then I can like hop on. But usually Saturday bus timing sucks. Wrapping up. 
maybe they knew that the police is coming. So they are now wrapping it up. Otherwise, police will raid and take all those stolen goods. So yeah, I guess someone gave them a tip that police coming. So yeah, they are packing all those stuff. You know, I made video from Roosevelt Island. I mean, Roosevelt Avenue, not Roosevelt Island, my bad. I made video from Roosevelt Island and I show you how that area became one of the largest stolen goods market and now New York City is cracking down all those vendors who doesn't have any license and they are getting so many complaints from people who live in that neighborhood that they can't even walk on a sidewalk it's always fighting the area became now a chaos so the city official take that into a serious matter and nowadays they do back to back raid on that area and seized all those stolen goods after I make video in Roosevelt Avenue it became so popular that now every other youtuber wanna make video in Roosevelt Avenue I start a trend it does stylish bunny it does not only Amazon eBay various online so I mean online platform Facebook Quacklist everywhere also those people who doesn't have license but selling product in the sidewalk causing harm to the people who had license and that's another reason police are cracking down all those vendors who doesn't have any license or permit and I heard all those people are now protest this is so crazy no matter what happened let's do protest <laughs> I don't have any problem with street vendors with a license you know what she does? She's really good. or I don't have any problem with street vendors without license as long as they're not causing problem to me while I'm walking in the sidewalk because I pay to walk in this sidewalk so as everyone else and I want to walk freely because these sidewalks are meant for pedestrian but when you set up shops everywhere and block half of the sidewalk it's cause hazard and that's it that is the reason Brooklyn Breeze now vendor free
So not yet, it's not open yet, the green lawn. Too much sympathy is basically destroying New York City. Oh wow, carousel. It's open. Let's let's see the carousel. Uh, Latonia, uh, yeah, right now no ones are allowed to be in the green lawn because this lawn is still establishing roads. So it's not ready yet. They're still young and fairly new. It needs some time. Maybe they will open it in May, sometimes in May. I don't know a lot of video what's the pun punishment if you just get to the lawn maybe you will get trespass you will ban from Bryant Park and they take it seriously this is a fun carousel right here Anyone can ride this carousel. It doesn't have any age limit. <laughs> Cell saying life in prison? No, that's too much for the lawn. I think they will just give you a trespass. Carousel used to be like one of the must thing for any park. Carousel like was the symbol of park. So that's why most of the park have carousel like used to have carousel. Hey Sabrina Farr, good to see you. So here are the timing hours. So January 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. February Monday through Wednesday close Thursday and Sunday Thursday through Sunday 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. March and May daily 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. June August 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. September and October 11 a.m. 7 p.m. November December 11 a.m. 8 p.m and special hours right here on a holidays and these are the tickets single ride four dollar it used to be two dollar but they increased the price and discount code 10 rides for thirty dollar it's perfect for kids party so you can even book it you just had to call and make reservation right here so here is information this carousel open to the public in June 11, 2002 and created specifically to complement the French classic design of Ryan Park. Wow, since 2002. See, already kids are gathered. 
for now the right. The other team was how the spreadsheet was set up. That's a great observation. Yeah, they do. They do like work towards counter, I mean, counterclockwise. Yeah, a lot of people live nearby and they want to come here every day so they usually um, get that 10 pass because you could save money and it's also a trick to make more sell same for NYC ferry single ride for four dollar but if you buy 10 ticket or 10 pass it's like 27 dollar and 50 cents so yeah There will be uh, Brian Park picnic performance, Brian Park uh, movie night coming up. A lot of fun activities. Hey, the Chill Out Lounge, welcome. <laughs> uh, Rob, then it's not gonna be fun. I think they should make it a little bit slow <laughs> for $4. Make it the solo is okay, carousel ride. Right. Even Central Park have carousel as well. I'm not in a mood otherwise I might do the carousel ride right today. basically sells force tower this building right here this green one and right next to Bank of America Tower I don't like roller coaster at all. Like um, I have, I have only ridden uh, roller coaster for like few times in my lifetime. After a roller coaster ride, I feel so bad. Almost a month, I had that side effect. Sabrina Farsing, I was going to change my YouTube and my husband said, nope, let's watch Sifa. That's a kind of him. Thanks for watching, Sabrina Far.
Yeah. Yeah, DC wide. Um, there will be a huge hot dog sculpture at Times Square on April 30th. I'm gonna be here. I got invited to the unveil ceremony. Uh, Times Square invite me, uh, so I'm gonna be here hopefully and show you the unveil thing. It's so windy right now. Super windy. I'm struggling to walk forward. Yeah, 65 feet hot dog, pretty much. Kang up costume characters. Nope. Amigo doesn't want photo. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on with this dude? Look at it. He's smashing through everyone. Something going on with this. High ass. <laughs> I don't wanna say anything else. Sorry.
There we go, Fig Moms! This is a new face of a new Fig Mom. What's going on with this King Kong? Music video maybe. Luckiest day for the King Kong. <laughs> oh God. Holy shit, look at that. My goodness, what the heck is this? A python? Seems like to me crazy. I don't even look at that. I'm running from this area. The huge snake. My gosh. Is it a python or something? I will not have any sleep tonight. I scared so much that ugly snake. Yeah, Bonnie Bon Bon, I'm right. That's a python for sure. I'm not gonna get a sleep tonight. I had to take some sort of melatonin to fall in sleep. Melatonin is like natural way to fall in sleep. It's not a sleeping meds. It's a hormone that that is the reason we fall asleep.
Yep, that was a python. Oh, that song reminds me Shakira. We've seen her live performance here at Times Square. Hey, Militia, good to see you. Thanks for joining, Militia. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, Davy. I mean, I think um, they eat rat or mice. That's what I heard because I have a friend. Uh, she basically have a huge snake as well. Not python, but I don't know the exact breed of the snake, but she do have a snake, a huge one. And she told me that she fed the snake rat every week. And she have a huge snake tattoo, tattoo on, on her thigh. Usually it's covered, but the, it's huge. Huge snake <laughs> tattoo. My gosh. She loves snake. She even invited me to go to her home to say hi to her snake, but I said, nope, thank you. <laughs> I hate your snake. You were funny, Dinesh. <laughs> she already make it all the while. Just joking. Number one scope care brand. New York. Stop and shop. It's a smoke shop for 20. Oh, by the way, I'm a little bit confused. Where should I post that video? Like, if you remember, I mentioned about that I will go and attend a bagel workshop. I got invited. It's basically a tool that you guys can also do with your family or an special that you can do with your partner. Like it's a two hours bagel making class. They will share all the history and things like that. And you can have um, so many bagel with you at the end of the tour. So do you want me to post that video on this channel or my second channel, Sifat Stroll? I plan to post it on Sifat Stroll because that's where I post all those fun videos. But it might be too too fun 
and I could post here on this channel. Let me know where you eventually, whatever channel I will post it, you will have the <laughs> access to saw that video or see that video. Um, so yeah, but I think I'm gonna post it on my second channel, Sifat Stroll. If you haven't followed me there, make sure you follow me there. It's more about me, all those uh, pop-up and special event that I uh, join. Sometimes I make small clips and I post that to, on that channel. So if you, if you wanna see things beyond this channel, then you should definitely follow me on Sifat Stroll. And that's gonna be a great way to see all those behind the same thing. I still have to edit that video. <laughs> but I will show you a small clip of me rolling the bagel. Look at it. Hold on. Where is it? Okay. Here. Uh, let me let me step aside. Hey, Kathy, look at it. It's so funny. See all these three other bagel. That's what I made. I'm expert of bagel making. Look, this is how you had to do it. Oh, come on. Now, okay. See, after this. Okay, my bagel is ready. I had the full process how they boil it and then fry it. So, this is just a demo. The whole video, I had to edit it, I had to add some voiceover. And then I'm gonna post that. I still don't know which channel I'm gonna post, but I'll keep you guys updated. It was a pretty fun activity. All right, folks. I think uh, I'm going to end my live right here. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, then before you leave, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And I hope to see you all in another one. Till then, stay safe, stay positive, and keep exploring New York City with me. Thank you so much, everyone. I will see you all in another video. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the love and support. Have a great day, everyone.